Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today is a tea party prep. I threw my sister a little high tea for her birthday. So come along with me as I clean the house and prep some food to make her day so special. starting in the kitchen just so everything is nice and clean so that when I prep food I don't have to be worrying about moving things around and cleaning surfaces and whatnot so we're gonna do that first and make sure the kitchen is sparkling Why can't you forget my stove top is looking a little rough so I thought I would give that a polish up. I haven't used it in a while but it will look nice and fresh. I'm just cleaning with my On Guard Cleaner Concentrate with some tangerine essential oil. Like I always say, it's not clean until it's citrus clean. If you guys are new here, I'm Hayley and a huge welcome to my channel. I hope you guys enjoy the content. I am a mum of two little boys. I'm a low tox mama. I take it very seriously and share all of my recipes with you guys where I can. And yeah, I love to clean. So I hope that it brings you lots of motivation. And if you are new here, let me know in the comments. I would love to welcome you here and say hey. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I appreciate it more than you guys will ever know. So sit back and relax with a hot drink or a cold drink wherever you are and enjoy. So I didn't have any champagne glasses so I wanted some and I didn't want to break the bank. I went to Kmart and they surprised me so well. These beautiful flute glasses were only $4.50. Go Kmart. So this is the area that we'll be setting up the high tea. It will be the main event really. So I'm making sure that is all nice and sparkling clean with my tangerine oil and nice and presentable for my guests. I love setting up things like this, like getting all of the old decorations and stuff out and the china. This poor china hasn't been out in about a year. So I'm so excited to get my little tea set out. And this table runner is actually from my wedding, so how cute. And in this video, you'll see the power of mothers, how we get things done with babies on our hips and multitasking at its absolute finest. My little man is not very well, so he's been very clingy. So yeah, on the hip he is, but this is all the things that'll be on the table and I just love this tea set so much. I'm so excited. Isaiah was practicing his pouring for the guests tomorrow. He didn't know I was watching him. He just looks so sweet. <laughs> So now that we have a rough layout on the table, I can go ahead and clean the floors. We're gonna give it a vacuum and then mop the whole house and make sure that is staying all nice and clean for tomorrow. So fingers crossed, the boys don't get to it first. <laughs> 
I don't think I would have been able to mop one-handed pre-kids, but I would like to know, can you guys do this one-handed without a baby on you? <laughs> it's just something that happens when you become a mother. It's like this new superpower. So in previous videos, you would have seen that I always have Bubby in the baby wrap. Do you think I can find it anywhere in this house? It's crazy. How do you lose a baby wrap? So here I'm just cutting up some lemon slices and some orange slices to make some yummy citrus water. If you freeze them in ice cubes, it makes the citrus come out in the water so much nicer. So a little tip for you guys. So because we're having mimosas, I call them mimosas because there's no champagne. <laughs> um, so because we're having orange juice in champagne glasses, I'm making some fancy strawberry ice cubes as well. And this will just add some flavor to our orange juice as well, as well as looking really, really pretty. Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. I figured why we fool around so little, and we keep track of time. Being so serious, idiots, thinking it will matter. Keep me company downtown. So, because this china has been in storage for about a year, I'm gonna wash them so that they don't have any dust in their teeth. How nice would that be? And the last job for tonight is to decorate the sugar cookies that I made. I was going to film me baking these, but I really had no other option. It was kind of get them done while someone was holding the baby or don't get them done at all. So I chose to rush them off camera. I also had so much greater plans for these sugar cookies, but I'm being realistic here, Kaysen's not well and I could hear him screaming in the shower with his dad so I knew that my time was limited so decorating them was really, yeah, I could have done so much better and I will in another video just to prove that I can do it <laughs> to myself. Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind, but then it's you Oh, I love it when the love comes around And then I remember All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up Okay, so it is the next morning, so I'm going to start the day by putting on some beautiful essential oils that are refreshing and also cleansing because little man's not 100% and Isaiah is so super excited for our little party today. So we're going to start by setting the table and making that all pretty and ready for the food to go on as well. Keep it steady cause I'm happy I'm not, I'm not gonna... So on the menu, I am making little yogurt and granola bowls with some fruit and they were absolutely delicious. Such a staple for any kind of brunch or breakfast. They're so yummy. So I'm just using the organic Audi brand yogurt, which is so yummy. And the organic berry granola from Audi as well. And just top it with some cut up strawberries and blueberries as well. So yummy. So my beautiful friend Nicole whipped up her famous scones and brought them over. My mum made some amazing tea sandwiches and they were so yummy. Keaton was very happy because there was some left over for dinner. <laughs> 
and I made the rest of the food which you will see me making here in this video. Too much of emotion, on the lighting, don't wanna pick a fight with Also on the menu were cheese and tomato croissants or simply just cheese croissants. They were delicious. These were so easy. I just cut the cheese and the tomato and put them inside the croissants and left them out until everyone was kind of ready to eat and then just cooked them in the oven for like 15 minutes and they were ready to go and they were so easy and so yummy. So as I was finishing these off, our guests started to arrive. So that is the end of this prep video. I'll throw in some footage of our little table, but we had such a nice time. I hope you enjoyed it, Cody. Happy birthday. Say goodbye yet Can I change your mind?